K100 Senior is underway on the first try through the S's and a great jump for the inside lane. Bonilla to second, Shipman to third. Here comes A.J. Myers trying to get fourth away from Vasquez. He'll eventually give way and now Aiden Rudolph trying to take back a spot closer to the top five as they do, uh, bang tires and rock it down the back straight away. Elio Meza going to take the field down low to defend as Vasquez gets around Shipman and A.J. Myers nearly turned in front of the field as Aiden Rudolph kind of got shoved through him and they're three wide behind Christian Miles on the outside now the inside trying to get in with Adrian Cruz and somehow some way Caleb we've made it and survived the opening half lap everybody making it through here in the first couple of laps you see Adrian Cruz low lining it there into the belt buckle anybody inside this top 20 can win oh Austin Old off into the into the dirt and he's gonna have a lot of work to do to get right back up into the top 20 and that's gonna end uh, his hopes here here early in this one with a big gap further back to the group uh, and a good lead so far for Elio Mesa and Donovan Bonilla who push each other forward oh, wow five goodness. almost six wide down into the boot anybody's game here and an absolutely stacked and packed k100 senior class the leaders are uh, playing nice but uh behind them christian miles and blake nash absolutely going at it for the seventh spot about a second away from the main pack right now nash trying to hang on miles wants to get through let's see if he sends it on him here in the buckle he will and oh contact and it got the bumper behind the tire christian miles trying to shake free he's frustrated as nash was throwing it low and christian miles loses a bunch nash loses a bunch it's peyton phillips now ahead and miles getting his elbows out to Vinny Miskellis to get through. A change for the lead, Donovan Bonilla on the inside of Elio Meza. Vasquez gonna look to go through as well in turn number six. Bonilla, your new leader here. Meza in second, getting pressured by Vasquez Jr. There goes Cooper Shipman on the inside of Vasquez. Rudolph gonna go through as well. Vasquez on the inside. Can he get the move done again? Not close enough and an over-under move there by Aiden Rudolph to get up into the top five. Slick move from Aiden. Here comes AJ Myers back at him as well as Rudolph protects in the buckle. Hangs on out of 11 with a decent run. I mentioned Alan Isabar. Don't be surprised if he starts clawing his way forward. He picked up 4 tenth on the leaders that time by. Getting around Cruz and Phillips. That Sodi card is moving. He's got a long road ahead. He's just kind of breaking a little bit earlier than what he would if he was pushing out in the lead to make sure he doesn't run over Benilla. As there's a pass for third. Vasquez on the other end. Pushing the tires, pushing the limits to hunt down the top three. Alan Isabard on a tear. I mean, he's down to within two and a half seconds now of the leaders, and they haven't passed once. That is how fast. He's knocked down 1.3 seconds, Caleb, in about five laps. Looks to be really quick in this opening stage of the race. But, I mean, we saw Jesus Vasquez Jr. had the long run pace in uh, yeah, Friday in Happy Hours. A.J. Myers, the Magic Man, looking to go through on Aiden Rudolph. Yeah, now as they uh, head out of 11, we look back. Here's some more passing. How about Alex Stanfield making some moves? He gets around Phillips. Christian Miles has not really uh, uh, done much since getting ahead of uh, Phillips besides now. So uh, here is uh, Isambard. He's caught up to these two. If he can get around them quickly, he can come join the leaders as Meza taking the field all the way down to the low side on the back straightaway after going by Bonilla for the lead. So uh, kind of a surprise move from Elio. I don't know if Donovan was really looking to go by him, but... Now we've got some racing. This pack's going to get a whole lot bigger here at this rate as they're back and forth for third, and we're low-lining for the lead. We're going to get a fight on our hands here as we hit the halfway point. Yeah, fight indeed. Mesa going half defensive there, middle of the racetrack. Isambard looking for the move on Rudolph. Isambard was able to get through there in the belt buckle. And that next group uh, isn't too far back either as Isambard gets around AJ. Allen Isambard into the top five, started 12, fastest card on the circuit, still digging for more with plenty of time for more. Uh, so let's see if Stanfield can maybe put himself up in the mix. You see him already pulling away from fellow TB card of Christian Miles there uh, further back in the field. And there goes Isambard on the inside of the California kid. Alan Isambard up another spot and up in a P4. Vasquez on the outside, not able to hold on to it there. And Isambard gonna point Vasquez forward and try to get up to the rear bumper of Cooper Shipman and company. So for the first time here in this main, it doesn't look like he's got the fastest piece, although we're gonna race up front. Cooper Shipman, a big send there in the last corner from a car length away. He'll take over second as we complete lap 13. This year, these guys have to keep it clean and, and stay there and stay patient. But Cooper Shipman gonna go for the lead here. Down the inside on six. Bonilla looking to go through there as well on Meza. Wasn't close enough. And officially, welcome to the party here. Alan Isamart and Jesus Vasquez Jr. Fighting for the lead, we're gonna get it. Meza in on Shipman. Bonilla is embarred, shoving him through there, and Shipman goes all the way back to fifth. And we've got Meza back at the front of the pack. 
Bonilla second. Allen is in barred from 12th up to third. I bet you'll see Allen try something. Down the back stretch, Mesa knows it. He's gonna take him to the low side. All the way low. Isambard sends it around the outside on Bonilla. And not quite enough through seven. Couldn't quite hold it. This is gonna become a seven cart train and maybe even 10 with Alex Sanford and company closing down. There goes Cooper Shipman on the inside of Jesus Vasquez Jr. into the boot. Shipman able to get clear and up at a P4. It's not gonna be nearly as easy. Bonilla says, go forward, I'll push you. Uh, Mazin does not trust him. He's gonna cover the low side into six. And look at Shipman trying to cover off from Vasquez. He does. Isambard with some over under moves, but now at the end of the race, this is where it'll be the hardest for him to try and make something happen. Allen needs a launch out of either turn nine there to maybe make something here in the buckle or into the last turn. And we're gonna go low in the buckle, so nothing he can do there as Shipman still trying to hang on. They're three wide now. Aiden Rudolph into the dirty stuff trying to get around Vasquez. Everybody wanting to be in the top five when it comes to the last two laps. Meza to the bottom of the racetrack again, not leaving any room for anybody to attempt to move on the inside there. And oh wow, Jesus Vasquez Jr. gets all out of shape in a turn number six and falls back to the tail end of that group. Aiden Rudolph looking for a move around the outside on the double right-hander. Three wide. Alan is Martin able to stay ahead. Myers, Stanfield out of nowhere in the TV cart up into the top five here. Alex Stanfield versus A.J. Myers now. Stanfield on the outside. Rudolph going to get a spot back and off into the turf for uh, Donovan Bonilla. Hand in the air. He's frustrated with Cooper Shipman here. Myers going to send it on Bonilla and he's going to fall to the wayside. Rudolph through. Stanfield trying to go. Miles is lined up as well as they come onto the front straightaway. And Dono's going to go back another two spots before he finds a hole. Three laps to go left in this KA Senior main event. 40 of the best drivers here in the nation. There goes Aiden Rudolph on the inside of the Magic Man. A little bit of contact in between the two of them. The two TB carts on the outside in Switchback City. Can Alex Stanfield stay ahead? He can. AJ Myers able to get through. Miles is going to get it back though over under move. Moves AJ Myers to the wayside and is not happy with Christian Miles here in this one. Yeah, that move there. We've seen a lot over the years, guys. An over under through turns eight and nine. Isambard is there, knocking on the door of Elio Meza now. Aiden Rudolph, Alex Stanfield trying to close in. Meza's going to go to the low side to block into turn number six. Yeah, low side for Elio Meza, who saw Alan Isambard was coming. He was three tenths quicker than Meza last time by. Can Isambard throw something here in the turn number eight? Not close enough. Meza still going defensive in the double right hander over under move for Alan Isambard, who takes the lead of the race. Very well timed and a very mature move. One lap to go. Alan Isambard's got the Sodi crew on their feet cheering here on the fence line. Through the S as we go. Final time. Cooper Shipman. Is he going to help his former teammate or is he going to try and take a win for himself as Meza all over the bumper of Isabard? And here we go down the back straightaway. Isabard looks back and the race to the bottom side. Isabard gets there first. Meza to the high side. Isabard's got to be careful with how much he moves out for the corner. For now, it's clean over to turn number seven. Clean in turn number seven, double right-handers. Meza close enough, over, under. Same move that Allen Isambard did on the inside for Meza. They're side by side, door to door, bumper to bumper. Isambard drops the tire there into the belt buckle for the final time. Meza not close enough to get the move, and Isambard still defensive, over, under for Elio Meza. Final time to the boot here. Two corners to go, Isambard, Meza, Shipman. Last turn, Isambard low, Meza can only follow him out of the final corner. It is Alan Isambard from P12 that drives to the win in KA Senior. And behind him, look at Stanfield, Vasquez, Rudolph. Stanfield ends up with the win at the line, or the win of the group really. He gets fourth, Rudolph fifth, Cooper Shipman third, Elio Meza P2 at the end of it all.